So I'll kind of focus on what kind of quests that you can see in Ion and um, as, as a designer I think quests uh, uh, has two functions within the game and one of them is storytelling obviously and another is giving uh, very definite goals for players to achieve in short amount of time. At its core uh, MMORPGs is all about uh, having goals and overcoming obstacles to reach that goal and when you reach that goal you get a reward and then you get another challenge and I think the biggest cycle for that is leveling up. You have to battle so much monsters to get so much experience to reach a certain level and when you reach that level you get more powerful, you get more new skills and you have your stats increase so that's kind of the reward for leveling up. This is kind of a long-term goal. It takes many hours or several, uh, several days when you reach higher levels but you need to have more goals in between them and I think quests, quests act as those in-between goals that players can really uh, set their eyes on for uh, maybe for the next 30 or one, 30 minutes or one hour I'll, I'll complete these quests so they don't have to really uh, I mean they have at the back of their mind that they have to level up and uh, become more powerful that's their obvious more most obvious and most driving goal but they have something fairly immediate that they can look forward to so I think having those small goals and small rewards in between those big cycle of leveling up and uh, reaching your big goals it's very important to have a lot of quests we want to have as many quests as possible so it will be possible to level up just by doing quests once you uh, complete all these small objectives if you look back uh, you've achieved you've also leveled up and so it won't feel as you have to spend a lot of time to you know just get to a certain level the second part of quests is I think about storytelling and because uh, I think it's a really good format within an RPG to tell stories to uh, with players is because it has a very good structure yeah. someone asks for help and you do something for them and then they kind of they are grateful and it has kind of a closure so um, for all kinds of stories really, just stories based on uh, very small heroics within the world, helping a farmer and who is having trouble or uh, saving, saving a lady from a you know, uh, dangerous situation. All these small stories can be t told within uh, the format of a quest. And also, uh, we can uh, chain these quests in a long sequence so we will have a long story arc and then we can really explore the main storyline of Ion and uh, we kind of uh, divided those two in so we have campaign quests or uh, and we have just normal quests and normal quests don't have a really big story arc it's just kind of you know everyday stuff that happens in the t towns, villages and maybe some of them have uh, uh, three or four uh, connecting quests that have a short story but the really big bulk of the storytelling is done in the campaign quests which is about the war between three races and also the process of your PC becoming more and more powerful and uh, realizing his potential and becoming a really heroic being within the world. Uh, these will be uh, told through the campaign quests uh, and we will also use elements such as cutscenes and 
uh, we will use more heavily scripted elements within these campaign quests.